Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today we are back in the dining room and it is day 10 of our 10 day clutter clearing challenge. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. And if you've been following along, then you know we've been working through each day of this challenge into a different area or room in our homes. And this was a challenge originally posted by Denise Lynn on Facebook. And Denise is a clutter clearing expert. She has multiple books. The one I'm working on reading right now is called Space Clearing. And she has um, given this little 10 day challenge. It was actually going on in June. It's now closed, so the only way you can see it is if you were already in the group because it's only been archived at this point. But I am sharing my journey with you in hopes that it maybe inspires anyone that might need it or just um, gives you a little extra push to get some more clutter clearing done in your home. And yesterday I did uh, just a reflection and review of the process so far. I went through the questionnaire she had listed as part of the challenge. And today is the final day. There is a webinar with the course. I, like I mentioned, missed getting signed up for the webinar, so I wasn't able to see that. However, she did a quick little five minute meditation that was in the videos on the Facebook group. So I went through and watched that and really enjoyed it. It was very powerful, even though it was only just a few minutes. Um, and I can't duplicate it because she does such a great job with it, but I can just kind of share with you, we imagined um, sort of looking above our home as, as if we were flying or floating above it and filling it with love and light and all the nooks and crannies and just permeating throughout the home and then putting a protective bubble around the home. So you just imagine that anyone that comes and goes and enters into the space is protected and filled with love and peace. So what a wonderful thing to uh, imagine and think about. And I made a few notes. Um, just based on kind of where I'm at with the process. So if you followed along, and if you haven't, I'll link my playlist down below. But if you've been following along, you know I've made some good progress in a few areas of my home. And I feel more confident and able to continue the challenge of clutter clearing because this process is a lot more mindful. With each challenge, she had us um, set an intention for the space, visualize and feel in the space what area would be the most beneficial to do the clutter clearing in. And that has really worked for me and given me better insight into not only each room and what area of each room is causing me the most anxiety and stress, but also just, I think it's helped me clarify, you know, where I'm at with keeping things, why I'm keeping them, and what I still need to work on in order to be able to let go of the things that really are not serving me or are not being loved and used by our family. So I jotted down three areas that I'd like to focus on. Um, one of them, of course, is our basement. Our <laughs> it's, it's a process. <laughs> so I was thinking about it, and what I may do is just take a quick inventory of either the number of storage shelves that are down there or the number of boxes that need to be gone through, just to be able to give myself sort of a start and an end that once I've gone through, if it's 30 boxes, if it's 30 shelves, whatever it is, um, so I can see my progress. I would really like to get through clearing out the entire basement by the end of the year. So I, I feel like I need to have some sort of a parameters so I know that I've done that because it's a storage space, but I think we come and go through there and you know, stop off with things and pick things back up again, then I, I feel like I need to sort of define it. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be keeping you posted. And as I mentioned, I'm probably not gonna be able to get to a lot of it during the summer months, but once we hit mid-August and my daughter goes to school full-time, then I anticipate having a little more time to focus on filming and doing this project. Uh, the second area I'd like to focus on is the pantry. Now, I've made huge strides just in the one clutter clearing session that I did through this 10-day uh, session. And it's given me sort of the, you know, the drive to keep it going, keep cleaning it up more, keep paring down more. So that I think I may be able to do soon, and I have a little... Um, extra tidbit that's making me excited to get in there and do the next phase of clutter clearing that I'd like to so stay tuned for that and then the final thing and I mentioned this yesterday 
Um, it's just my daughter's toys and our, our growing stash of toys. Um, and actually this morning while I was doing this meditation with Diane and um, with Denise, I'm sorry, and thinking about um, just the whole problem and why it is such a problem for me, uh, I realized I don't think I've ever done this whole mindfulness aspect of the clutter clearing process when it comes to toys. And then it might be helpful to actually do that with my daughter to just sit for a minute and talk about what would we imagine would be a great place to, you know, play and enjoy our toys and what would it feel like and how would it look just to help her understand that process. I know it would help me because I think I immediately go into the overwhelm when I see the toys throughout the house and I, I kind of get into that panicky of mode of just, I don't know what to do when I, I know I need to do something, but how do I do it? And so I think to slow down, take that uh, approach of just being mindful and using some visualizations and talking with her about, you know, is there something, anyway, just going through that process, I think will help. And um, so that's another big area. Basically, we have toys stored in her room, in our living room, in the finished space in the basement, which we do use from time to time. And then there's like a backup storage of toys in the old part of the basement that's really more just a storage area. And they're all full, so <laughs> there's some room for improvement there. So those are the three main spaces I'd like to work on throughout the rest of this year, the remaining part of 2019. And a couple of notes that I made for myself were just using the intention setting and mindfulness process before, during, and after each session. I think that's really key for me because, as I mentioned, it takes me out of the anxiety mode and puts me into the awareness and you know, slowing down and just really being thoughtful about it, which is helping a lot. And then uh, my goal is to be finished, like I said, by the end of 2019 through the entire basement. So thank you for joining me and I hope this has been helpful. Um, look forward to seeing more of these videos to come. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a certain area of your home that this process has helped you get some clutter cleared out of and if you're going to be continuing on in any aspects at your place. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and if you click that notification bell then it lets you know each time I upload a new video and give me a like if you enjoyed this and are looking forward to more clutter clearing and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.